Hey guys, Lewis here, and I'm back with another episode of XCOM Enemy Within. It is a new month, and a new month means new opportunities. I have some good news and bad news, though. Let's start with the good news. We've had a couple of days to relax. Both squads are in high spirits, and the staff is doing quite well. We even had the time to celebrate my birthday, which was actually on June 26th, but we didn't celebrate it then because we had several missions we had to take care of, and it was a generally busy time. However, both squads, the security staff, as well as the staff, decided to get together and throw me a little celebration. Nothing too big or over the top, just a simple celebration. Just the way I like it. And Dr. Valen even stopped by in the evening and, well... I guess you could say I enjoyed my day. But, on to the bad news. We have recently suffered a security breach, a hack in our data banks. Most specifically, the target was going after our gene augmentation processes as well as our cybernetic augmentations. We have lost all information on those. So, what I would like to do here is anyone who has volunteered for the gene augmentation process or cybernetic augmentation and who have yet to been augmented, please let me know if you still want to go forward with the augmentations and I'll get you reinstated on the list. All right, so let's go ahead and get some work done. Let's head to the situation room and take a look at our pending requests. Uh, Russia is asking for two scopes. They're ready to send free engineers to us if we send them some scopes their way, and that is perfectly fine with me, so let's get that fabricated right now. Alright. Scopes. There we go. We will might as well make three of them, keep one for ourselves, send two to Russia. Alright. That should be good for us. Let's head to the Situation Room. Respond to their request. The Russian government is confident these targeting modules will improve their readiness. They have sent us the free engineers. Perfect. Alright, now let's head back to engineering and get a couple more things fabricated. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're Our new engineers have, have reported in. That's good. Let's get a couple flashbang grenades created because those are tactically viable for me. I am wondering on what I should do with needle grenades and gas grenades. I might not deal with those just yet. Huh. I'm not going to make any sidearms just yet because they are quite expensive and I'm going to wait on more engineers to help us out. So let's head to the facilities and get a couple more construction projects going. We are head on power right now, but I want to stay on top of that. So in order to achieve that, we are going to make an Illyrium generator right next to our thermal generator as well as adjacent from the power generator. So we'll get adjacency power bonuses. Uh, we'll also start excavating over here. We won't bother excavating these just yet because we have plenty of room still. Uh, Dr. Valen has asked me that she would like a laboratory constructed for her staff and uh, I am inclined to fulfill her request. So we'll go ahead and get a laboratory. Plus, with the laboratory here, we'll get an adjacency bonus for our research speed as well as having a more dedicated research staff to monitor our data banks to prevent future hacks. So we'll begin construction right away. Uh, we'll also get a couple workshops created for Dr. Shen and his staff. We'll also get an adjacency bonus and we'll get more workshop rebate in the process of doing so. Alright. That taken care of. Let's see. Research is still ongoing with the Plasma Sniper. That's going for another three days. Let's head to the Gene Lab, however, and get our troops in for more modifications. Uh, Alpha is going to be taking the first few weeks of this month off, and Bravo is going to substitute in for them. Uh, let's see. Jason, if I recall, you're next up on my list, if I remember. But we're going to go ahead and enter Jason in. We're going to give him Adrenaline or Sympathy over Secondary Heart, so that he can provide a combat rush every time he gets a kill. I'll have the selected volunteer sent to surgical prep immediately. Once the genetic modification is complete, I will notify you directly. Alright, next up, uh, we might as well get Sam in for the augmentation process as well. She, she will also receive the Adrenal Nero Sympathy for the same reasons. Excellent. We'll begin prepping the candidate for surgery immediately. I will notify you And we'll get Nicole in for Adrenal Nero Sympathy as well. Get the Adrenaline pumping. Alright. All three of them will be done with their augmentations in another three days with that taken care of 
let's head over to the officer training school and let's get our troops trained up a little more we will invest into rapid recovery so our soldiers heal twice as fast from wounds from combat uh, we will also get wet work so 25% experience gained from kills and uh, hmm. I'll save that for later actually Is there anything else I want to do in engineering? Let's actually head down to the foundry and get a couple more projects working. Uh, scoped upgrades would be useful. Yeah, we'll work on scope upgrades, improve our scopes. So that's going to take four days. Uh, we will also work on shaped armor to better improve the armor design of our mech troopers and their mechs. All right. The foundry is already warmed up. I'll make sure to notify you as soon as production is finished. Alright, thank you Dr. Shen. Let's head to mission control. Alright, so a bunch of our satellites are going to be positioned in a day. Plasma sniper will be done in three days. Kathy will be reporting in from her covert op in three days. Alright, let's go ahead and scan for some activity. Alright, many of our satellites are in place now. We have an extraction squad. We need to send in our extraction squad to help out Kathy, but let's go ahead and get Bravo Squad kitted out with their gear. So we'll head over there just we'll head over there now. Let's see. Alright, Mike, you already have your gear squared away. Austin's got his gear. JP is gonna be bringing along the new plasma rifle, testing that out in the field. Uh Zang, Matt. Matt, we will give you a flashbang grenade so that you can stun anybody we come across. Uh, Richard, you are pretty much kitted out. You are also carrying an extra med kit in case we need it. Sean, we are going to give you the extra scope and we'll give you the flashbang grenade as well. Alright, I think that's the majority of Bravo Squad kitted out. We'll go ahead and send them after Kathy to help out. Alright, so we have Covert Data Recovery, Operation Purple Scepter. The Covert Operative has finished setting up the encoder and transmitter, but Exalt is inbound. Protect the intel assets by eliminating all Exalt forces in the AO. Let's launch the mission and get our squad on the roster. Alright. Mike, you will be bringing your team. You will handle this matter with discretion. Alright, let's see. Richard, you're definitely coming along. We need the sniper support on this. Uh, where's Matt? There he is. And Sean. Alright, Bravo Squad is all kitted out and ready to go. Let's launch the mission. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Alright, let's begin the assault. We're aiming to eliminate an exalt cell currently operating out of South Africa. We'll need to move in and assist our operative in acquiring the necessary data. Alright, we have Operation Purple Scepter, a covert data recovery out in South Africa. We need to prevent exalt from hacking our encoder so as to stop them from learning the transmitter's location. If that fails, I need everybody to protect the data transmitter until exalt forces are eliminated. That is your primary objective. Make sure the intel is secure. Eliminate all exalt forces in the area to prevent them from stopping us. Alright, let's launch the mission. operative was in position to transmit the data they'd acquired when Exalt forces moved into their AO. The encoder is currently shielding our transmitter's position, but if Exalt manages to hack the encoder, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack both, any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. Objectives updated. Alright, Kathy is on site, but let's go ahead and get our troops into position. We don't want to move too quickly to give away our position, so let's get Richard up on Radio the rooftops. 
provide sniper support for our team. Looks secure for now, but I'll have him stay where he is. Alright, where's Kathy? We need to get a read on the situation over here. Let's keep her where she is and throw a battle scanner out to the encoder. See what's out there. Let's throw it over here though because the rest of Bravo Squad is coming from this direction. Scanning target area now. Alright, area looks clear. We can move inside the gas station if we need to. The garage is all area is also clear. So we're gonna move in through there. Matt, let's have you lead the way. We'll move you into cover over here. Roger that. John, let's have you. All right, we hear movement up ahead. You hear that? So let's move you here. Up. Double time. All right, Austin, how far can you get? Pretty far, actually. Let's get you up to the cor to Understood. the wall over here. Moving out. All right, JP. Let's have you just move out over here. Moving out. Your flank is exposed, but we haven't seen anything just yet. And Mike will have you move up next to JP. We have Exalt Chatter. They are moving about. Let's see if we can move ahead just a little more with Kathy and throw another battle scanner out to see where they are hiding. We will move her over here. Aye, aye. Contact. Ah, we got contact. These Exalt operatives appear to have undergone extensive genetic enhancement. Suggesting Exalt has access to MELD as well as lab facilities on par with our own. However, I would never suggest we follow such an unrestrained approach to modifying the physiology of our own soldiers. That certainly explains the coincidence in the breach of data. It could have been Exalt trying to study our reach. own augmentation process and using it for themselves. We have a team exalt operative team over there. We can't have that move. We can't have that. So Richard's gonna go into Overwatch, keep an eye on them. Hmm. What can Kathy do for us here? Can she get a frag grenade out there? She could. It's not good enough though. What are your chances for shots here? We're gonna go ahead and take a shot at that operative. Alright, a nice critical there. Go ahead and move our team in. Mike, you head out into the open. We need to secure that encoder as soon as possible. Can we destroy their cover for the others? I'm not sure, but we will try. Yes, we can, and we've eliminated both of the Exalt operatives. Ah, that was a medic and a sniper, not an operative. Either way, we've taken care of them. Our troops should be free to move up now, however, I do know there's another one up there. So, Sean, let's have you move up to the side of the wall over here. We know there's some up ahead. Going to Overwatch. JP. You will head over here. Headed there now. Go into Overwatch, I cover that capture there. zone. Austin. Not sure where I want to position you. We'll move you over here as well. Heading there now. I feel and Matt. Let's have you take up 
cover on the other confirmed. side of the truck. You are a little clustered around that vehicle, which I am uncomfortable with, oh but area oh seems yeah. clear for now. I don't think we're alone out here. Alright, we have another squad approaching the capture zone. Alright. One of them is down. Someone is attempting to access the encoder, Commander. We can't allow Exalt to hack that equipment or they're going to locate the transmitter. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Richard, do you have a shot on that sniper? No, you do not. That is unfortunate. Uh. All right, we're gonna have to move up. Our assaults present the best tactics here because they do have lightning reflexes to cover them. So, JP, let's have you move okay. up. All right, I saw the other one. He's back there somewhere. What we will do is we will try to destroy the ex explosives in the area around the sniper. Out. All right, and that severely weakened that sniper, which is good. Austin, let's have you move up over here. Moving. We will wait on your shot, however. Hmm. The heavy is right over there. I could make use of that. Well, I'm not too worried about that sniper right now, so let's take a chance. Matt, I'm going to have you use your run and gun. You're heading after that heavy. Moving out. Oh, crap. That taxi is on fire. Ah, uh, that's going to explode next turn. I'm under fire. All right, he's going to take some hits from this. It's unfortunate. I wish I saw that earlier. I can't move him again either. All right, sorry, Matt. You're gonna have to get take a hit from this, but let's try to take out that heavy at least. They do have laser weaponry, so they must have stolen that from the databanks. Uh, missed. All right. We know there's one over there. Let's get Sean on the run as well. We'll move him over here by this taxi. Got it. Moving. Alright, you got a flank on the heavy. Let's take that shot. It's unfortunate that Matt missed his. Alright, Richard can still move and take a shot. Which I'm going to have to. Alright. This is risky. Let's move him out to the door. open. What kind of shot do you have for us, Richard? 41%. Not that good. Take the chance. Ah, you missed. We're not doing good. We're not doing good. That one's also in cover. Caffey's too far away to do anything to that heavy. She could potentially hit that sniper. Let's move her over here. Let's take that shot. Nice. Alright, sniper is down. Okay, let's move Mike up. He has a flank on that heavy 72%. Take him down. Unfortunately, that taxi is going to explode. That's going to injure Matt. We'll put Boston into Overwatch. Austin's got the shot, blows up the cover, but misses his target. 
All right, he's in Overwatch. That won't do him much Commander, good. Scans indicate additional contacts approaching Strike One's position. Ooh, that's some heavy. All right, Matt was heavily hit from that. All right, we won't move Matt just yet. Richard, you don't have a shot for us. Kathy, you have two shots. 98% and a 78% on that heavy. Let's do what we can to the heavy. Alright, that's a hit. Alright. Hmm. This is tricky. Not sure if that sniper's on Overwatch either. Well, this is a bit of a waste, but I want to take that sniper down right away. So let's get the JP running gun over here to flank that sniper. It looks like Exalt deployed a series of communications relays. Let's take two shots just in case. If operative can get close enough and access the relay using the encryption keys they acquired from Exalt's data. They should be All right, able to only needed the one. That's the good. Com network. Hmm. All right, Austin, you have a shot. 99% on the one in the open, 79% on the heavy. Let's go after the one out in the open. All right, that's a hit. He has adrenaline surge, though. Let's go ahead and move Sean over here. He has lightning reflexes, so he'll be able to dodge that overwatch. Heading there now. All right. A pin down here. Must off these height now. Uh, Richard's shouting about something over there. 91% on this heavy. Let's take him down. All right, he's almost down. Matt, let's get you over here. We'll get you medical attention Moving as quickly out. as possible. Austin's already taking his turn, though. Richard's too far. All right, we'll finish off this operative. What does that adrenaline surge do? This unit is wounded, triggering an adrenaline surge, plus 10 aim and 10 critical chance. Okay, I do not like that, so let's shut him down. Kill confirmed. All right, Richard, what can you do for us? Let's move you over here. What kind of shot do you have? No targets available, which is unfortunate. So we, what will we do is move you closer to Matt. They don't have eight. Mike, you will go deal with the heavy. Chicago. All right, 75%, take him down. Niente colpi. Bersaglio ostile neutralizzato. All right, everything's quiet for now. Let's get repositioned. Richard, you move up over here. Go ahead, use your med kit. Nimm ein Schmerzmittel, das wird schon wieder. All right, that should help Matt out just a little bit. He still has battle fatigue, however. Let's get Matt back over here on the corner. Have him in Overwatch. We'll have Austin move up to patch him up. We'll have him on the other side. We'll take this chance to fully heal Matt. Cowboy up. All right, John. Let's get you over here. Aye, aye, Commander. Go on to Overwatch. On Overwatch. Mike, you get back into the center of the formation. We're gonna have you reload. 
Pronto a proseguire. Alright. Caffy. Not too sure. We'll move you up to the van over here so that you're in possession near that sun calm array if we need to hack it. JP, let's get you back into the cap, cap zone. Actually, no, we'll move you over Position here. Confirmed. We'll put you on Overwatch. Got it covered. Heads up, Commander. Exalt forces are moving into position. All right, JP one. and Max got a shot. JP made the hit. Uh, missed. Got a medic coming in. Sean's got a shot. Makes the hit. Medic up on the billboard. Alright, let's see. How do we want to deal with this? Sean, hold your position. You got 82%. Take that shot. Nice. Alright, Caffy, you also have a shot. 60%. Let's take out that medic. Free JP up to move. Ah, you missed your shot. That's all right. Negative damage. Right. Can Richard get a shot? 90%. 61 over there. Let's go for a headshot on this one. Oh, he's using covering fire. And Richard took a hit. Ah, unfortunate. Alright, but at least Richard took him out. Richard took a heavy hit there though, so we're gonna have to have Austin move over there to help him out. Mike, you move forward in case the operative over there. Or is that a medic? The medic over there might be on Overwatch. Let's take him out of the game. Doesn't look like he is, so we'll get Austin over here to heal Richard up. We'll get... Alright. Go ahead and heal Richard. Come on, time the cowboy up. I don't think Bravo was prepared for Exalt having laser weaponry as well as augmentations. They definitely caught us by surprise. All right, Mike, finish off that medic. All right, area is secure for now. Matt, you move over here to the taxi. Headed there now. To cover that side with Overwatch. Roger. I've got my eyes JP, on. you move up to this corner. There now. And go into Overwatch. Overwatch. Aye aye. Alright, it's all clear for now. Mike, get back in the center. We'll have you on Overwatch. Matt, you move up a little closer to the corner. Heading to that location. Roger that. Scanning. Alright, Austin, we might as well use your last med kit to top off uh, Richard. Come on, you'll be back in the fight ASAP. Alright, Richard, how are you doing? Alright, you don't have any battle fatigue, that's good. Keep you where you are, put you in Overwatch. Sean, you're good where you are, Overwatch. JP, Overwatch. Caffey, move back over here and you Overwatch as well. Alright, we got this area locked down. It looks like this is the last of the hostile reinforcements, Commander. We just need a sniper on the move. Alright, he's down. There's a heavy moving towards us. Alright. There's an operative over there. Here's another operative here. And they dropped off a sniper up top.
Alright, JP's got a shot. Misses the sniper. Shot wide! Alright, we got a lot of targets in the area. Kathy, what do you have? 78. 78. Alright. The operative has adrenaline surge at the ready. Let's try to take out that heavy. Ah, oh, so close. Alright. JP, let's have you move up over here. Get the flank. You have lightning reflexes, so we're not worried. That car is on fire. It will explode. Alright, you got a flanking shot now, 100%. Take two shots. Only needed one. Actually, no. Here's the second one. Dead and gone. Perfect. Richard, what do you got for us? 64, 70, and 71. Well, considering what happened last time. Let's see. Sean has our utter lightning reflex. Let's have him use his run and gun. Run him down. Move out into the open over here. Yes, sir. Alright, now take your shot. Taken care of. Richard, let's have you take your shot on that sniper up there. Actually, what we could do is we'll guarantee you to kill by first injuring it. So, Austin, take your shot. Richard, take your shot now. Show him who's the better sniper. Alright. Lastly, Mike, let's have you move over to take care of this heavy. Alright, take him down. Good job. Good work out there, Commander. Exalt's forces in the area have been eliminated and the transmitter is secure. Operation Purple Scepter is complete. We killed 16 elite Exalt operatives. We didn't lose any operatives, however, Matt and Richard took some hits. They might be in the med bay for a couple of days. Let's bring it home. Alright, Richard and Matt are both wounded for 3 days and 4 days respectively, and Sean has earned himself a promotion to Lieutenant. Let's go ahead and hand that out. Alright, we could give him Flush or Rapid Fire. I am going to give him Rapid Fire so we can deal out more damage. There we go. Alright. New intel is in the database, credit reward of 150 credits, panic reduced by one in South Africa, and the encoder and transmitter were both recovered so we got a credit bonus from that. Decryption of the recovered data has revealed new information about the location of Exalt's base. The Exalt base is not in Japan. Alright, that takes off another country on our list of suspects. We recovered six weapon fragments, an Exalt Intelligence, 7 Exalt Laser Assault Rifles, 4 Exalt Laser Sniper Rifles, 3 Exalt Heavy Lasers, and 3 Exalt Rocket Launchers. Exalt Intel Decryption Complete. Eliminating statistical improbabilities for possible Exalt location. Alright. Overall, not a bad mission. Could have done better. 
it's unfortunate that Matt and Richard got injured in the process, but they'll be back at it in a couple of days. So that's it for episode 26 of XCOM Enemy Within. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.